Now let's just run quickly through the license verification. So if you look under administrative, administrative you come under a license verification, you can manually validate, and then there's a special clear function. Uh, don't don't use the special clear unless you're directed from me, but I, let, me, let me show you what will happen. If you hit special clear, again, it should only be used if you're instructed by me. Let's say yes. The clear function is done. You're going to exit the program. Now, the program really exited. Now, what, look, look what happens when I launch it again. It's going to come up and say that pretty much we're starting from scratch. So the special clear kills all the security access and uh, validation efforts. So now I'm going to hit OK. Program will come up. And now I actually have a new number. So if you try to handicap something, it's going to pretty much tell you that security has failed. You can certainly look at the help program. But outside of that, there's not a lot you can do. So now you're going to have to manually validate, and that's what you're going to do on a new program anyway. So when you come in here, uh, again, you should only do this if you have the information you need from me. And notice uh, it's going to repeat the generated numbers up here on the manual screen, right? So those same five digits are up there. I would put my last name. That's what I would recommend you do. Put your last name in there, and please no spaces or hyphens or anything like that. The access code is going to be 2046, but the security code is, is going to be different depending upon those uh, five sets of uh, digits. So I'm going to put it, put, put it on pause so I can calculate the security code. Okay, so the security code will be 111 in this particular case. says it's complete and then you can uh, launch the program and the program will be up and running and the features are turned on okay